Welcome to Fan Scaldita's channel. Today we are going to learn about sun, moon, and stars. This is by Stephanie Turnbull, designed by Zoe Ray. The night sky. When you look at the night sky, you can see shining stars far away in space. You might be able to spot the moon too. Everything you can see is only a tiny part of space. The moon looks small, but it would take about four days to drive all the way around it. Out in space, our planet Earth is a lump of rock in space. It is one of a group of nine planets. Each planet goes around the sun on its own invisible path. The sun and the planets are called the solar system. So we have the sun, the Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, then Pluto. Experts used to think that Pluto was a planet, but now they've changed their minds and call it a dwarf planet. Most of our planets look about the same size here, but some are really much, much bigger than others. Saturn is so far away from Earth that it, that it took seven years for a spacecraft to reach it. That's seven years. The Sun The Sun is a star. It is the closest star to Earth. So it looks bigger than other stars. The sun was formed by thick clouds of dust and gas. It became a glowing ball of gas that is hottest in the middle. The surface of the sun bubbles and boils. Ooh, so hot. Sunspot. The sun has dark areas called sunspots. They are cooler than the rest of the sun. Never look straight at the sun. Its strong light can hurt your eyes. Earth and Sun Earth turns as it moves around the sun. The parts of Earth facing the sun have day. Parts that light doesn't reach have night. As Earth turns, different parts have day and night, or night. When it gets dark, where you live, it is just getting light on the other side of Earth. The sun is a long way away from Earth. A spacecraft called Ulysses studies the sun from space. It can't fly too close to the sun because it would melt in the heat. The sun gives us light and heat. No plants or animals could live without it. Nearby planets. The four planets closest to the sun are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. They are all rocky planets, but Earth is the only one that plants and animals live on. This is Venus. It has high mountains and volcanoes. The planet's air is poisonous. A few years ago, a small spacecraft was sent to Mars. The spacecraft opened up and a robot car drove out. The car was about the size of a skateboard. Scientists on Earth used computers to make it move and take photos. Mercury is so close to the sun that the land is hotter than boiling water. Wow! Faraway planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are far away from the sun. They are very cold Places. Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system. This red spot on Jupiter is a storm that is about twice the size of Earth. Saturn has bright rings around it. 
from far away, Saturn's rings look like solid hoops. In fact, each ring is made up of dust, rocks, and eyes. The surface of dwarf planet Pluto is frozen, like a huge skating rink. The moon. The moon is a ball of rock that goes around and around the Earth. As the moon moves, the sun lights up different parts of it. This is why the moon seems to change shape in the night sky. When the sun shines behind the moon, you can't see its light side. It is called a new moon. Sometimes you can only see part of the moon. This is called a crescent moon. When the sun lights up the whole side of the moon, you can see a full moon. Other planets have moons too. Jupiter has more than forty moons. A rocky desert. The moon is a dry, dusty place. It has no air or water, so nothing lives there. The moon's surface is rocky and hilly. It is covered in giant holes called craters. Many of the moon's craters are so big that whole cities could fit inside them. Wow! There are lots of rocks drifting in space. Sometimes a rock crashes into the moon. The rock explodes, and dust flies everywhere. It makes a deep bowl-shaped crater. Moon missions. The moon is the only place in space where people have landed. This is how astronauts got there. A rocket blasted off into space. With astronauts inside, number two, parts of the rocket fell away, leaving a small spacecraft. Number three, a lunar module came out and landed on the moon. Number four, astronauts climbed down the ladder onto the moon's surface. Astronauts explore the moon in an electric car. They collected rocks to bring back. This is a piece of rock from the moon. In the future, scientists might build special hotels on the moon for people to stay in. They can call it Moon Inn. Yes, how wonderful it is to travel on the moon. Vanishing trick. Sometimes the moon moves in front of the sun and blocks out the sun's light. This is called a solar eclipse. This black circle is the moon covering the sun. Gases from the sun glows around the edges. At the start of an eclipse, the sun looks as if it has a bite taken out of it. As the moon covers more of the sun, the sky gets darker and it feels colder. The moon covers the sun completely for a short time. During an eclipse, many animals think it must be night, so they get ready to sleep. <laughs> stars. Stars are glowing balls of gas like the sun. The bright star in this photo is much bigger than the sun, but it looks small because it is so far away. Some stars slowly get bigger and duller over many years. They puff off layers of gas and slowly fade away. Many stars move around in pairs. They are called double stars. Some big stars explode. This cloud of gas is all that's left 
of an exploded star. Let's get star groups. Stars can be joined up to make patterns. This pattern of stars is called the great dog. If lines join the stars, you can see a dog shape. A group of billions of stars is called a galaxy. One galaxy is called the whirlpool because of its swirling shape. The whirlpool galaxy. Most galaxies are spiral or oval shapes. One galaxy looks like a wheel. See, look at that. Shooting stars. A shooting star is not really a star. It is a small, hot piece of space rock. Shooting stars are also known as meteorites. They look like stars falling out of the sky. Often lots of space rocks fall at once. This is called a meteor shower. Space rocks heat up if they come too near Earth. They burn away, leaving a trail of light behind them. Some rocks are too big to burn up, so they hit Earth. This huge crater was made by a rock that fell in Arizona, USA. That's real. Space Watch People use telescopes to look at space. They make things look bigger and clearer. This huge telescope floats around Earth. It takes photos and sends them back to Earth. A spacecraft took the telescope into space. A robot arm lifted the telescope out. At first, the telescope didn't work properly. Astronauts had to go into space to fix it. You can see faraway planets, stars, and whole galaxies through powerful telescopes. Now, we, here are some of the words in this book you might not know. Okay, first we have the planet. Planet is a huge round object in space. Earth is a planet. Solar system. It is the sun and the nine planets that go around it. Crater. It is a hole on the moon or a planet made by the space rock hitting it. Astronaut, a person who is specially trained to travel into space. Lunar module, a small spacecraft that landed on the moon. Galaxy, a group of billions of stars. There are millions of galaxies in space. And we have the telescope, something that makes things far away look bigger and closer. Now, those are the things that we can learn about sun, moon, and stars. See you on our next video, guys. Goodbye.